guys welcome back tag team recoveries all right today i am going solo i uh, got a few hours to kill we go out here we're gonna hunt this field here see if we can't get into some stuff uh, hoping for some early colonial stuff getting ready to check out the site here but i uh, hope everybody's well out there and uh, we'll get out here and see what we can end up doing all righty guys appreciate y'all watching and checking us out let's go get that metal detector and go hit that first hole we'll see y'all shortly all right first good target this morning uh not that deep no more about three inches so uh looks like part of our early colonial shoe buckle fortunately it's been hit by the plow and broke up but that is probably late 1700s to right around early 1800s maybe into the mid uh, 1700s but that's a cool little piece but I'll loop around here and see if I can't find any more pieces to it. And see what we got. Alrighty. We'll see you guys at the next hole. Alright, I hope the wind ain't blowing too bad out here. It's starting to pick up. But uh got my next signal here. You guys can see it right there. And it looks like a smaller caliber ball. Probably old 50 cal. That is cool. All right, Colonial Air Musket Ball. All right, well, let's see what else we get into. See y'all a few. All righty, next target here. A uh, nice little button just finally showed up. Looks like a nice little uh, pewter or tomback style button. A little flat one. That's pretty cool. A little two-holer, actually. That is cool. Probably early 1800s, late 1700s. Mixed in right here with all these broken shoe buckles and stuff. But that's cool. Alrighty. Well, let's see what else we can get into, guys. See y'all at the next one. Alrighty, guys. Next target here. Again, not down that deep, just a few inches or so, but another piece of broken colonial shoe buckle. And right where the tongue bar went right there. See a little hole in there, but a bar would have gone across that. And a fork tongue or something like that, or a straight bar would have been in there. But anyhow, cool little piece of brass. Alrighty, well, let's see if we can get some more. And we'll see you guys shortly. Hey right, guys, next signal here. And I know more than about an inch deep, and I thought I had a coin. But anyhow, I have a button, and it's a small cuff size button, probably about 15, 16 millimeters. And it has a lot of silver plating left on it. Got a nice little design, out of ring and stuff on it. Can't tell if there's anything in the center or not. I'll have to get home and uh, put that thing in some ammonia. See what's going on. But the shank is broke off the back of it. But anyhow, that is cool. Really thought it was a coin there for a minute. Alrighty, guys. Well, let's see what else we get into. Alrighty, next target here. Another musket ball right there. Check that out. Another 50 cal, it looks like. Yep, sure is. Alright, that is cool. Alrighty, guys. Now well, we're getting a few targets here. Let's see what else we can get into. Let's do it. See y'all in a few. Alrighty, man. Next target here. Uh, hitting up pretty good, probably about 58 or so, uh, down about six inches. And look right there. Check that out. Nice early colonial shoe buckle. That is so cool. It's actually uh, should be another piece of this off on the side here, identical to this, and it should be coming off over here. But it's uh, it's broke just across the tongue ball right there. But that is a cool find right there. That's definitely uh, mid 1700s, if not earlier, right there. But that is a cool find. Like that. Alrighty. All right. Well, we can put this up and let's see what else we can find. Y'all ready? Let's go. All right, guys. It's been a little while since I got another target that was decent enough. Uh, I got a couple pieces of broke brass and stuff like that. And a couple shotgun shells, but just hit up on another good target here. Another musket ball down there. This was like probably about a 69 caliber ball there. 
That's definitely colonial era right there. That is so cool. Um, yep, we're going to loop around through this area here in a little bit and see if there's any more of these things here. But that is a monster right there. I would hate to get hit by that. Alrighty, guys. See what else we can get into. We'll see y'all shortly. Alright guys, wrapping it up here for today. Only had a couple hours to kill. Um, but ended up digging a pile of trash as you can see there. Found a nice golf ball. And some of miscellaneous junk, but did get some early colonial stuff. Uh, ended up with a couple of uh, 50 caliber uh, musket balls. Got a 69 or 70 caliber ball. And then a 31 caliber ball. A fired ball. Uh, a couple pieces of broken colonial shoe buckle there uh let's see here two flat buttons this one's got some silver plating on it i'll have to clean that one up and see what we got on that one but shanks broke off the back of it that might have some nice detail or something on the face of it being silver plated uh got a two hole pewter button it's pretty cool fine a uh, piece of a broken colonial bell and probably my best find for today is the uh, late 1600s, early 1700s uh, shoe buckle. But the end of it's broke off there. But not bad for a couple of hours. Got some goodies there. And we'll get at it again here soon and uh, see what we get into. Alrighty, guys. I appreciate everybody stopping in and coming along and uh, hanging out with me there for a little bit. Uh, nice little solo trip. But uh, we're going to get back at it soon here and then try to get on some more good stuff. But again, I appreciate everybody coming in, checking us out, and hanging out with us. And if uh, you get out there do some hunting yourself, man, good luck to you. And uh, we'll see y'all soon. Thanks for coming in and watching. See y'all soon. Bye.